and welcome to Alpha Beta Tutorials. In this video, I will be providing a step-by-step -step solution to question 1, alternative B, of the West African Senior School Certificate Examination 2021 Physics Practical. A question and a moment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss an update from my channel. Let's get started. And now the introductory part of the question. You are provided with a set of masses a meter rule a thread two retort stands and clamps a stopwatch a knife edge and split cocks we don't have some in the lab so we will use this in place of the split cocks we are going to determine the point C where the meter rule will balance horizontally on the knife edge that point is the center of gravity of the meter rule So the point C is 50.2 centimeters. We are going to read and record the mass M of the meter rule written on the reverse side of it. M is 97 grams. Suspend the meter rule by means of two parallel threads of equal length, 70 centimeters. So we have this thread, 70 centimeters. This is also 70 centimeters. With one at the 10 centimeters mark, so this thread is at the 10 centimeters mark of the meter rule and the other at the 90 centimeters mark. So this thread is also at the 90 centimeters mark. So the distance between the parallel threads is 90 centimeters minus 10 centimeters, which is 80 centimeters. So this is at the 10 centimeters mark of the meter rule. And this thread is at the 90 centimeters mark of the meter rule. And the distance between the base of the split cork and the meter rule is 70 centimeters for each of the threads. Attach a mass of 30 grams firmly to the meter rule at C, which is the center of gravity of the meter rule and is 50.2 centimeters. So we attach a mass of 30 grams at the 50.2 centimeters mark of the meter rule.
we are going to displace the ends of the meter rule in opposite directions to perform angular oscillations. When the meter rule leaves the point of release and comes back, it will be counted as one complete oscillation. We are going to determine the time for 20 oscillations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So the time for 20 oscillations is 21.53 seconds. We are going to take the time for 20 complete oscillations again and find the average of the two times for more accurate results. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So the time is 21.32 seconds. So the mass is 30 grams. The time one for 20 oscillations is 21.53. Time two is 21.32. So we take the average of the two times. That is time one plus time two divided by two. 21.53 plus 21.32 divided by 2 is 21.425. Then we find the period. The period is the average time divided by 20. So 21.425 divided by 20 is 1.071. Then we evaluate t square. So 1.071 squared is 1.147. And then finally, we find the inverse of t square. That is 1 divided by t squared. So 1 divided by 1.147 is 0. 0.87. Check the unit very well. The mass is in grams, the time is in seconds, both time one and time two. The average time is also in seconds, the period is in seconds, the period squared is second squared. The inverse of the period squared is per second squared. And we are going to repeat the procedure for four other values of m is equal to 40 grams, 50 grams, 60 grams, and 70 grams. So we remove the 30 grams mass and fix a mass of 40 grams at the center of gravity of the meter rule, displace the ends in opposite directions, determine the time for 20 oscillations, determine another time for 20 oscillations, 
find the average of the two times evaluate the period square the period and find the inverse of t squared and then repeat the procedure for a mass of 50 grams 60 grams 70 grams and then tabulate the results Plot a graph of t exponent negative 2 on the vertical axis and m on the horizontal axis. So we need the values of t exponent negative 2 and they are decimals. So we convert them to standard form by moving this point 1, 2 to the right. So we have 87 times 10 exponent negative 2 per second square the next one we move the point 1 2 we have 93 also times 10 exponent negative 2 the next one we move the point 1 2 we have 101 the next value will be 105 and then 112 all times 10 exponent negative 2 in standard form And we also need the values of M. We have 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So we draw the vertical and horizontal axis. We are going to plot a graph of t exponent negative 2 on the vertical axis and m on the horizontal axis so we choose a scale we will choose a scale of 20 centimeters is to 20 times 10 exponent negative 2 per second square on t exponent negative 2 axis so we start from 0 20 40 60 and so on And on the M axis, we choose a scale of 2 centimeters representing 10 grams. So from 0, we move to 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. On the vertical axis, one big box is 20. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So one small box on the vertical axis is equal to 2. The first point, we have 30 grams on the horizontal axis and 87 per second squared on the vertical axis. This is 80. One box is 2, so 82. 84 86 and then in the middle of the next box we have 87 the next point we have 40 and then 93 so this is 80 the middle of 80 and 100 is 90 one box is 2 so 92 and then 93 will be in the middle of the next box the next one we have 50 and then this is 100 one box is 2 so in the middle of the next box is 101 the next one 60 and 105 this is 100 one box is 2 102 104 and then 105 will be in the middle of the next box 70 and one one two this is 100 the middle is 110 and another box for one one two so we draw the line of best fit determine the slope s of the graph so for the slope we draw a horizontal and a vertical line 
and we name here A, B, and then C. The slope is given by change in BC over change in AB. For change in BC, we have 100, the middle is 110, and another box is 2, so 112 minus the middle of 80 and 100 is 90. Remember, times 10 is going to negative 2, and the unit on the vertical axis is per second square. And for change in AB, we have 70 minus 30, 31, 32, 33. And the unit is grams. So 112 minus 90 is 22. And 70 minus 33 is 37. And 22 times 10 is my negative 2 is 0 0.22. And then 0 0.22 divided by 37 is 0 0.0059. We have per second squared at the numerator and the reciprocal of grams is per grams. Evaluate Q is equal to 0 0.68 divided by the slope. The slope is 0 0.0059 per second square per grams. 0 0.68 divided by 0 0.0059 is 115.3. The reciprocal of per grams is grams, and the reciprocal of per second square is second squared. 